Hey agents and welcome to Shadow Gaming. Today we got the daily target of loot allocation for July 25th. Subscribe and like if you enjoy the content, it really helps out the channel. And turn on those bell notifications if you want to see these videos daily. Bills, discussions, and a lot more. Alright, let's get this thing started. We got Elf Summit Ornament at DZ West. We got Overload Ornaments at DZ South. And we got Assault Rifles at DZ East. The only thing I really recommend today for the Dark Zones is the Rail Splitter. It's an assault rifle. I believe it has perfectly measured on it. It's a really good assault rifle and I still haven't gotten it yet. Uh, I had it back when it was like level 30. It was awesome. So if you guys want to get it as a collectible and it's a pretty good assault rifle, you can go get that in DZ East today. And I have not seen it in a DZ vendor since TU10 came out. So it's still something I would try to farm for. Highlights for the north side, we got Sokolo Concern at Camp White Oak, Richter and Kaiser at Coney Island Ballpark, Light Machine Guns at Coney Island Amusement Park, and Mass at Manning National Zoo. If you're looking for the Coyotes Mask or the Vile Mask, you could farm that at Manning National Zoo. Of course, you had to have gotten the Vile Mask from the Season 2 track already to farm it, otherwise you'd have to have a friend or random match made group drop it for you. Light Machine Guns at Coney Island Amusement Park if you're looking for the Bullet King, the Pestilence, uh, Good Times Name Machine Gun, check that out at Coney Island Amusement Park. Richter and Kaiser for your healer builds for that incoming repairs on the One Piece and Sokolo Concern for your SMG builds. Highlights for the west side, we got Walker Harris to co at Federal Emergency Bunker and Seska SRO at West End. We got Shotguns at Bank Headquarters and Submachine Guns over here at Constitutional Hall, Fenris at DCD. Knee pads at Roosevelt Island, Grupo Sombro at Lincoln Memorial, and Wyvernware at the Pentagon. Wyvernware, of course, is for that one piece 10% skill damage. Grupo Sombro at Lincoln Memorial, you got the one piece for DPS builds as that 15% crit hit damage. Second piece for 15% explosives damage for any skill build, explosive damage build. And knee pads at Roosevelt Island if you want the Ninja Bike Nes Messenger knee pads, if you want the Fox's Prayer knee pads, or you want the Sawyer's knee pads. All three are great choices. The two exotics and the one named item. Check them out if you can get them today. And then some machine guns at Constitutional Hall if you're looking for the Lady Death or you're refarming the Chatterbox. You can check this area out. You got three control points to farm and Fenris for that 10% assault rifle damage from the first piece. Sweet Dreams Exotic Shotgun at the bank headquarters today. Definitely check that out as well. And Walker Harrison Co. at Federal Emergency Bunker if you're looking for the Chain Killer chest piece with Perfect Headhunter on it. Alright guys, well, let's check out the highlights for the east side. We also got shotguns today at Grand Washington Hotel, Murakami at District Union Arena, holsters over here at Jefferson Trade Center, and gear sets at American History Museum, Petrov at East Mall, and assault rifles at Jefferson Plaza with gear sets again at Space Administration, and Aralda Holdings in Southwest. For the two XP farm areas, No Hope Hotel, a demolition site, we got chess pieces and Aralda Holdings. Both good areas, just depending on what you're looking for. One piece of Araldo Holdings for that 15% marksman rifle damage is great for a perfect headhunter sniper build. Rifles at Jefferson Plaza is good for Merciless, Diamondback, uh, Classic M1A, MK17. Those are really good uh, rifles, especially the M1A. And the Diamondback, Merciless is pretty good too. Gear sets at Space Admin and American History. You can get everything but the Foundry Bulwark and Future Initiative chest and backpack pieces. Gilagar at Air and Space for all your shield build stuff. Petrov, you got four control points to farm if you're looking for contractors, gloves, or you can go ahead and try Federal Triangle and target loot the type, not the brand. Holsters at Jefferson Trade Center for Imperial Dynasty or the Forge. The Forge was just buffed to 50% shield health, I believe, instead of 10%. That adds basically another skill tier of health towards your shield, which I believe is like 2 million armor to your health. And of course, shotguns at Grand Washington Hotel if you don't want to farm bank headquarters for the Sweet Dreams or a good like military M870 and Murakami at District Union for that 10% skill duration first piece. Let's check out New York City and I'll let you guys go. We got China Light at the Tombs, Richter and Kaiser at Civic Center, Seska at Two Bridges and Marksman Rifles at Stranded Tanker, Some Machine Guns at Pathway Park and China Light again at Battery Park, Providence Defense at Financial District, Golan Gear at Wall Street and Light Machine Guns at Liberty Island. You know, whatever preference you have, if you want to try farming Liberty Island for the Bullet King or Pestilence, you can. I would farm the other piece for it, the other place for it today. Go line gear at Wall Street, 10% status effects for the first piece. China Light, you could farm an open world or the tombs if you need a good explosives damage build, skill build. 
Uh, submachine guns at Pathway Park if you're looking for Lady Death or refarming the Chatterbox. Seska for that 10% crit hit chance. MMRs, Mantis, uh, Nemesis. Of course, you had to get those from their respective original places that you would get them from. The Nemesis from the quest or have someone drop it for you. Same with the Mantis, except for you get that from the Season 2 track reward near the end. And then Richter and Kaiser for healer builds. All right, guys, well, that's going to be it for the daily target loot allocation for July 25th, 2020. This has been another Shadow Gaming production. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed it, please subscribe and like. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Agent Shadow, signing off.